If you're a yo-yo player and you spend any time on Instagram or Facebook, you would see players flexing on their hooks. It's kind of intimidating. Now, the baseline is 2.0. That's an advanced trick. It's pretty difficult, but with a bit of practice, you can get there. Anything beyond that is really difficult. In order to land a 3.0, you need three things. Speed, timing, and accuracy. But the thing is, when you first attempt a hook, you lack all three, and it makes the trick feel impossible. You watch these clips on Instagram and you flail your arms around hoping to land it, but you don't even get close. Because the leap of difficulty between a 1.0 and a 2.0 and a, a, a 3.0, it, it's really high. So this begs the question, how do you practice a negative 2.0 or a negative 3.0 or a negative 4.0, if you can't even land at one. Step number one, gear matters. You need an outlier to, no, I'm just kidding. The first thing you need is a solid string. And when I used a thicker string, it kind of gave me that five to 10% extra speed, and then I was able to land it. It's still not easy, but if you're not using a thick enough string, it's really, really hard. So I use Kitty Fat, you guys can use whatever you want. Just choose a string that's fat and thick, and that will whip around quite quickly. So let's take a step back for a minute. Let's say you can only land a 1.0, right? And your goal is to land a 2.0, okay? Now, the 2.0 can be broken down into three steps that happen in midair. There's that step, there's that step, and then there's that step. The skill is when you can do all three at the same time. Boom, right? Now, if you're just learning, this is how I would practice it. Just try to get this part. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, okay? Then go boom, like so, right? And then if you get that smooth enough, eventually you'll graduate to the 2.0. This same process applies for when it gets even more difficult. So let's say you're doing a 2.0 and you wanna land a 3.0, right? So now it's one, two, grab on here, three, four, and then it goes around. One, two, three. So if you're trying to get from a 2.0 to a 3.0, I'll literally just try to get like, get that part. See how I've got both wrapped around now? And then all I need to do at this point is just hook around and I've got the 3.0. So that is like an intermediate step. And just trying to get that double loop like that is pretty difficult. So the same thing, so this process applies with hooks. So let's say you can get a 1.0 and you can get a 2. If you just hold that here, just get to that point and then whip it down, break the motion up. Okay, so 1, 2, break it down, then go around. Once you kind of get that done, boom, you'll be able to hit the 3.0. And that's how you break down the steps because right now the issue is, is that the difficulty from here to here or from here to here or to here is really, really high. So you have to think of this intermediate step. Now the final step is you just have to grind. Pick a day where you're like, okay, that's it. Today's the day. I've been doing this catch for a while now and today I'm just gonna try to yeet this thing all the way around and see if I can catch it. And it may take you an hour, it may take you two, it may take you a couple of days. But once, here's the funny thing. Once you hit it once, it becomes easy to hit again. So I remember it took me ages to land a negative 3.0. But all I needed to do was hit it once and it becomes a lot easier. I think that this way is harder, but it's still a lot easier than it was the first time. Hit it once, get the timing, the accuracy, the speed down once, and your brain is like, oh, that's the rhythm I need to get it in. And it'll be easier to get again. Not gonna lie, tried to hit a 4.0, couldn't hit it. I'm breathless, I'm tapping out for today, but I will get a negative 4.0. I'm close, I'm close.